Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions we express do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. If you would like to support the show, go to duckfeed.tv slash tip jar and check out our Patreon campaign. What up? Not much. How's it going? It goes. It goes? Mm-hmm. A little something like this. <laughs> Those Damn Ross Kids, a conversation between brothers, featuring Chris and Cole Ross. Better now, better now, better now, better now. Better now. Hey, better now. Hey, better now. Good, thank you. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Glad we got that figured out. Yeah. Man, I've got a busy night tonight. Me too. Hmm. School stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning. No. Learning. I, well, not. Le- I wouldn't call <laughs> school learning. No, I mean, school is school is adapting. School is, you know, grinding. Yeah. You know, it's identify subject, find someone else who talked about subject, mm-hmm. and then say, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I acknowledge that subject exists. True. How much longer do you have with that? I don't know, like a year and a half. Uh, I'm a junior. Oh, you, <laughs> checking it out, man. You just would just wait another another year. You got senioritis. You can mm-hmm. start. You can start uh, um, skipping class. You know, uh, doing your message board. It's really hard. None of the none of the college tropes apply when you are doing it via computer like that. Chris, nope. you, you're like you're, you're you're in a brave new world that I have no insight into. I guess I start doing it completely naked instead of in like a shorts and a t-shirt. Mm, yeah. I see. Be sure to put a towel down. That's just courtesy. I'm the only one who uses the chair. It's not like I'm at the library. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's not like this is the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> oh man, that was my phone. Professionalism. <laughs> the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I don't know. It's just I just I just like the idea of the uh oh Chris, you see the basis of humor is to set up an expectation and then subvert it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or or just finish that sentence like everybody knows it. That would be actually really like a good fundraiser if you could auction off Alfonso Ribeiro to be your butler. <sighs> Yeah, no, yeah, you know anything's good on a Ritz. So Ritz. I'll, I'll auction off the ability to spray uh, to, to to spray cheese whiz on Alfonso Ribeiro. Take a bath with Alfonso Ribeiro. <laughs> you know, for, for, for the cure at, at the Ritz. <laughs> See, I was trying to make the the Carlton connection, but you did it. You closed the gap. Yeah, no, you just you, you just uh, on the back on the back of the Alfonso Ribeiro box that you know, like they have all these recipes. You know, the the mock apple pie. You got some olives on it. Hey, it says instructions: don't pull crotch string. <laughs> instructions: wait a minute, hide from view for twenty five years and then put on Dancing on the Stars. Huh? No, Dancing with the Stars, not Dancing on the Stars. Yes, we give these celebrities LSD. <laughs> mm. Let us dance across the heavens. Huh. What else is new, Chris? Nothing. Mm. Hanging out. Yeah? You're not really giving me anything. Doing the damn thing. Yeah, you know, getting it done. Mostly. TCB. Why doesn't exist anymore. Country's best yogurt. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what that was until uh, the league. Really? Yeah. I thought that was uh, that was common knowledge. No, and I guess not common to me. Hmm. And I pride myself on being the common man. <laughs> I pride myself on being best friends with the hip hop artist Common. Hmm. Yeah. He's insufferable. I have no. I I know that there is a man named Common. <laughs> Did you almost say I don't know him? <laughs> no. All but <laughs> as if I do, Chris. Chris, yeah, he's coming to Christmas. I make a. I am. <laughs> it's going to be very inconvenient. Uh, 
um, you know, because of the paparazzi and stuff. Right. Um, yeah, but, um, but no, no, I just, I was going to say, I, I make a lot of claims on this show that are not necessarily true for the sake of comedy, man. Energy's low. Who's mm, no, just in general. We, we, we seem to be having trouble picking up steam. I hear you. I, I hear you mousing around in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm putting you on blast. Hmm. Hmm. I, I think, know. I think my heart's not in it. No. I think not. I am. Do, well, do, do, I mean, do you want to continue for tonight? Yeah, like, yeah, why, why, yeah, why don't you give me a story? Okay, well, Chris, what's your name? Uh, I'm Chris. Yeah, my name's Cole. This is a comedy podcast called Those Damn Ross Kids. Yes, we're here to entertain your asses. Yeah, I get my many, my many intros mixed up. I about did set like an amalgamation of 17 of them in a row. Mm. Yeah. Well, Chris, let's uh, let's do something here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and rekindle your interest. Let's do a story about North Korea. Okay. Okay. The the thing that makes the least sense about the world is time zones to me. Like, it makes sense, but why do we only have as many of them as we do? I've been waiting for somebody to disrupt that paradigm for a good for a good amount of time and you know when you're when 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 you're looking to sources for that kind of shake up well you have to you have to look at the fringes the rogue nations right and so north korea has said enough of this tyranny of making sure everybody is on you know the ones and twos right why yeah. don't why don't we turn the time zone back for the entire country by 30 minutes thus creating pyongyang time <laughs> they are i mean they were already on their own time well yeah a little bit it's just like when, whenever whenever the generals decide to wake up that's when the sun rises uh sad but yeah it's gonna be uh turned back uh on uh, uh, uh gosh august the 15th so everybody um uh make sure to buy your lottery tickets they I guess. gave warning <laughs> they didn't just forcibly change the clocks back. Yeah, um, which is uh, that, that, Chris, that is the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Korea from the Japanese at the end oh. of World War II. So that's good. It is, it, it, the, it, they, it's their bicentennial or uh, septicentennial, I think. What? I thought maybe they did it like 10 years ago. Hmm? I said, I wonder if they just did it like 10 years ago. Oh, and we're just now hearing about it? Right. Yeah. Hmm. The new time zone shall be fixed as the standard time of the DPRK and called Pyongyang time. The wicked Japanese imperialist committed such unpardonable crimes as uh, depriving Korea of even its standard time. (laughs) How did that happen? The North Korea? how, How did that go down? Uh, what do you mean? How did it go down? Why do they think like they're wronged with everything? You know, I really have no idea. I, like, I, the I Russians, don't. I get it. Yeah, the the Japanese, I get it a little yeah, bit. Germany, I get it. <laughs> no, really. Yeah, that's that's how Hitler got his shit together, man. Because of how <laughs> how Germany was treated after World War One. Right, right. The, the 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 conditions were ripe for uh, for uh, that kind of thing to happen. Yeah, you know what? I really don't know. Like, I I I'm not up on my history. Basically, I'm waiting for Dan Carlin to do a hardcore history about the Korean War mm. because I've got no like I know that I know that we got involved because of containment, um, trying to keep the the the, the spread of the communist virus out of East Asia or what have you, or what they, yeah, as they would have said at the time. But I, I don't know why there was the split. I know that, what is it, Kim Jong-il's dad, the the, the great leader, was the one who uh, kind of got things started. He was their uh, their, cham- their chairman Mao figure. Right. And thus that is why he is revered as a god. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think that, you know, th- 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 there are a lot of people who have some pretty good claims on being angry at the Chinese or at the at the at the Japanese for stuff like, you know, it's kind of I, I, I don't know how I, I don't know how China's kind of bounced back from the whole rape of Nanking thing, you know, but uh, it's been a minute. And I think that right now, the most anybody has wronged North Korea is by sanctioning them for being horrible to their people and having a literal concentration camp set up. Oh, here it is. What? King Jong-il's dad, 
Eel? Kim, is it Eel or Ill? Um, uh, Ill, I, I, Kim, Kim Jong Eel, I say. Kim Jong Eel, okay. He, yeah. He was in a bar in Seoul. <laughs> okay. Carrying three drinks back to some ladies. He bumped into a guy, and the guy says, Yo, haircut, get out of my way. <laughs> so Kim Il Sung, he's all like, That's not going to play. Right. Yeah. And so he's all, I'll show all you. Haircut. I'll show you a haircut. <laughs> we'll make it mandatory. Mm, I don't know. It's funny to joke about the megalo- the megalomania and stuff, but like for me, I, 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 I when I start doing that, I all of a sudden because I'm just a, an insufferable person, I start getting sad about the actual people starving <laughs> because of their leadership, and then it gets all it gets sad. But yeah, no, I, I just uh, I like the idea that even that <laughs> that even time itself has been slighted by their by their national their national enmity. And what was that word? Emnity. Emnity. Yes. E M N I T Y. Okay. The property of being an enemy. Oh. I mean, you look up Harry's once, and next thing you know, all of your ads are Harry's. It's pretty. It's pretty upsetting, isn't it? It is. You know, that's uh, you know, we, we've talked a lot about the information state. We've talked a lot about how how goofy the Internet has gotten. Here's here's the thing. Um, something that I've started to, started to notice is uh, the recommended content blocks in the sidebars of sites mm-hmm. and how that. I don't know if that's tailored to me or if that is just pure lowest common denominator or what. I'm kind of tired of being at work and browsing around looking for like research and stuff and just constantly having a, you know, 200 pixel wide strip of just close up shots of breasts. Cannot buy an anal pair these days. I, you know, it's uh, I, I think that it has something to do with the Hague. You can suction a cup of dong to anything, but try to get an anal pair. I dare you. <laughs> well, no, there were too many of them getting mixed in with the regular pairs. <laughs> Why do you keep your suction cupped anal pair above the car seat? <laughs> you know, just settle under their place. Your three year old? Grim <laughs> My nod. Own, no. Huh. I'm going to buy a pocket hand. What's a pocket hand? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? No? No, I don't. Like a pocket butt or a a pocket vagina, you get a pocket hand. Oh, okay. (laughs) No, is it like one of those Terminator hands? (laughs) No, I think it's (laughs) hook-mounted. Wait a second, I need to change. (laughs) I need to change my hand. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Oh, I'm just picturing Woody Harrelson from Kingpin. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I got one for going to a metal concert. <laughs> you, see, there, there, there's the one that points, but then you have to buy a special model for finger guns. You know, for, you know, like, hey, this guy, finger guns. Right. Those are tough. You need a lot of preparation for when somebody cool walks into the room. Hmm. Hey, Chris, you got a story? I do, I think. Trying to come up with some stuff. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. the F- No, not really. The FDA uh, has approved 3D printed pills. Okay. I don't get 3D printing. You know what it is? It's, it's, it's something like drones or selfies. If you put that in the title of anything, I'm sure that there's a lot of, there's a lot of research money that's being thrown around sight unseen just because 3D printing is in the, is in the abstract. Yeah, I, it says that because it's 3D printed, it's a porous formulation that rapidly disintegrates with a sip of liquid, packing higher doses into a single, single pill. Hmm. Okay. And easier for little epilept, uh, epileptic kids to swallow. Is that what it says? Is that literally? Yeah, no, that, yeah. Huh. Uh, li- little baby epile- epilepsy. Hmm. hmm. Uh, I'm I I actually I'm not sure I believe you actually on that. It's true. Hmm. Let's see. It really, it, no, hang on. Oh, did I tell you about what happened at the doctor today? 
Uh, no, no, you know you didn't. This is the first we've spoken today. What? No, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. So I go and I, I I have to go get a some shots every once in a while. Mm-hmm. And the guy says, uh, "So how's it going?" And I said, "You know, I I guess pretty good. You know, I said, you know, I'm feeling feeling a little bit tired and stuff." And um, so. <laughs> He, so the guy he, who gives me the shot, he gives it to me every couple of weeks, and he says, uh, "So uh, anything else that you're doing could be making you tired." And be honest. <laughs> and I didn't know. I don't know what that means. Well, were you honest? I don't know what he suspects me of. <laughs> and I'm, I'll repeat it again. Anything else that you're doing that can make you tired and be honest. <laughs> Then he turned off the fluorescent lights and clicked on the dangling bear light bulb out. And I, above I don't you. know. I, so I, you know, and then I'm like, so I'm kind of stammering, like I don't really know what you're getting at here. <laughs> and then he's like, uh, you know, stress. And I'm like, well, first off, you don't do stress. I don't do stress. Well, you know what I mean. Like it's not yeah. anything you might be doing. It's not an action. I mean, oh, okay. Well, how about this? <laughs> Maybe he was asking, are you stressing? Are you doing stress? So this, to stress can be a verb. Anything anything you're doing, and be honest. <laughs> well, first off, you're an LPN. <laughs> what gives you the right? The only thing that makes you better at giving me that shot than myself is the fact that you can reach where I can't. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and anything, be- anything that you're doing, and be honest. <laughs> I mean, if he's trying to, like, you know, just to evoke confidence from you, right? Like, not saying, hey, don't lie to me. Just like, hey, man, something bothering you? I mean, is there... Okay, the better way to say that, and I'm going to I'm gonna armchair, armchair quarterback your nurse's thing, is say, oh, is there anything like you that, that, that you might not be thinking about? Like, you know, just anything just that, you know, even if it's small. Is there anything you want to talk about? Yeah. Not with you. But... <laughs> Huh. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a puzzler. And be honest. So what'd you say to him? I, I just did you just you panic know, and say no. I said no, no, no stress, nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. Cause even so, like a, a drug that would make me consistently tired. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Um uh, some kind of depressant? G- like Xanax? Uh yes, that does make you very tired. So why would I be going to get a shot that helps me with my energy and then take Xanax? I don't I don't know. Like you know, you know what I mean? Like it just wouldn't, I don't know. Wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't they wouldn't they Paul, be honest. <laughs> Chris, wouldn't they know what your what your medications were? Well, yeah, assuming well no, I mean I I can get medicine from anywhere. Right. Have you been three I could three D print my own? <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is download the schematic. You know. I have epilepsy, but <laughs> uh, I guess you could also 3D print like nitroglycerin for uh, for people with heart conditions, stuff like that. I guess. I guess I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that 3D printing is just uh, is just a scam. It's just a scam to get a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, clicks. I think it's clicks, and I think it's research money. Clickbait. Yeah, I, th- I think that it is the clickbait of the uh, of the scientific and uh, let's see here manufacturing world. You can buy it at Sam's 3D printers. Yeah, you can buy them for mono price. Really? Yeah, I just want somebody to 3D to 3D print 3D print a drone that takes a selfie and then just that that, that, that will, as the kids say, break the internet. <laughs> right, yeah. like asparagus water from Whole Foods. Ugh. What? What? You didn't hear, see that? No. As- yeah, they're selling asparagus. a bottle of water with two two spears of asparagus floating in it. Ugh. Infused. Ugh. I, I know cucumber water. I'm not. I'm. Not, I've done that. I'm not fond of it. I prefer. I prefer a citrus infusion. You know. I. I, I find. Cucumber's I find it's not bad. Cu- like cu- cucumber, I think it just it just tastes off to me. Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never been a fan of cucumber and cucumber water. Just it tastes like a, a little bit like water that's been farted in. However, not as much like water that's been farted in as asparagus water, I guess. And Chris, I'll eat asparagus. 
Really? Oh, yeah. I, I've made it for you before. Yeah. No, just uh, I'll take uh, what what I'll do is I'll take uh, frozen asparagus from the bag and I'll I'll, I'll fry it up nice in uh, in some in some olive oil on uh, on on the griddle, on the on the stove top. That's that that was my dinner. Twelve stalks of, of of asparagus and a chicken breast on Sunday. All on the griddle. Uh, yeah, you know, on the on the skillet. Ding 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 ding. ding. Yep, you know, just get Paul Bunyan to skate on it with his butter shoes. Um, yeah. But uh, but a spare wouldn't it like get gross? That that's like fibrous, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't break down. Yeah, I don't know. That just seems ill advised. But that broke the internet. What 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 were people saying about it? Oh, they just said it was six dollars and it was ridiculous. Oh yes, it is ridiculous. What's the benefit of asparagus water? Is Nothing. <laughs> the benefit of asparagus is simply um, fiber. And you're not getting that if it's just if you're just drinking the the the, yeah. the, the, the soakins. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're drinking the broth, right? Yeah, that's you're supposed gross. to use it for gravy. Ugh. I don't know. I, I can't stand gravy. I'm not a man of sauces, but that's just me. I'm a sim- simple man, uh, but I'm sophisticated as well. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, you mentioned the league earlier. I, I guess, I guess I thought this was an urban legend, and that's what that show was was alluding to. But apparently, breathable alcohol is taking London by storm. Okay. Uh, those the the martini huffers. Yeah, like so on the on the show, which I guess is on both of our minds because I've been rewatching it, and you recently rewatched it but on the show it's like he here's here's an orb that has some like vodka that's put over a, a tea light so that the alcohol um evaporates and then you take a little straw and inhale it and the idea is that it is absorbed directly through the membranes of your mouth as opposed to going through your stomach and going through primary metabolism uh, through the liver, which kind of uh, gets as much of the poison out as possible. Uh, whatever's left over is what gets you intoxicated. You getting drunk is your liver just saying, fuck it. <laughs> you're, throwing, you're throwing more alcohol at your system than your system can take. Okay. So this is happening. This is basically like a vape chamber. Um, it's all happening. <laughs> Chris vaping another. I'm gonna say a very another trendy clickbait topic. Yeah, but no, it's a, it's a it's a vape. It is a vape chamber that they, they are whole rooms that are that are filled with gin and tonic vapor. Um, and then people walk into it and then just soak it in. The uh, it, it, it absorbs through their through their uh, sinus. Uh, through the lining of their sinus, through their eyes, Chris. Uh, basically, any exposed mucous membrane. Um, so you could you could probably colon roll that real hard if you got if you had a funnel, <laughs> right. a funnel and some bellows. <laughs> 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 wow, I think I saw that Tom and Jerry. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the one where they went to uh, they went to Argentina, right? I think I I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. but uh but yeah uh, so how do you know how, when you're done well that's the thing because it is incredibly quick to set in because you're breathing it in. oh i didn't mention the lungs that's the biggest exposed mucous membrane of them all and so you're breathing it in and it's going directly into your bloodstream and directly to your brain so you go from you go from feeling fine you know if, if you're feeling alive to being just completely fucked sideways like that Maybe don't administer it in a room. <laughs> oh man, I had seven last night. Seven, like you know, you know vodka tonics. <laughs> no, seven rooms of alcohol. <laughs> exactly. I'm hungry. Here's a room of steak. <laughs> it's like one of those room escapes, except they fill it with gravy instead. Of... <laughs> Try to get out alive. <laughs> it's haunted, kind of. <laughs> I mean, gravy is a kind of ghost. It is it, it is a ghost of bones past. Gravy's what? Flour and water with some yeah, fat? Yeah, and grease, yeah. Uh, okay. I thought for some reason I thought bone was involved. Hmm. I thought, I thought it was making some kind of some kind of stock. But yeah, the alcohol avoids first pass metabolism. The liver goes directly to the brain, which makes it much more intoxicating. Uh, and the intoxication is very rapid. And the thing is, Chris, your brain doesn't stop 
you know, growing and evolving until, you know, you're partway through your twenties. Right. So you have these, you know, 19 year old teens walking in there and just inha- doing inhalants, huffing paint, essentially <laughs> they can get the same, it's basically Charlie's apartment here. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, like uh, alcohol experts and, you know, uh, substance abuse experts across, across England are saying, you know what, we really don't need another way to get this alcohol inside of us. We've been doing pretty good with the mouth so far. No, it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Hmm. Mm. Maybe I should stop drinking and start breathing. <laughs> No, it's kind of yeah, just uh, you, you stop doing cigarettes and you and you vape, you know. That's like uh, you, you learn some tricks. You look like a Bluetooth wizard. I think Red said that, didn't he? What? Either get busy, either get busy <laughs> drinking or get bu- busy breathing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, that's what it would have said if uh, if Stephen King wrote that story in the in the nineties instead of the uh, instead of you know the seventies. But here mm-hmm. we are. This yeah. was that. I guess that was the eighties. Hey, Cole, did you, did you know that Ohio State's marching band is the best damn band in the land? Uh, is that their is that their slogan, their catchphrase? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that they uh, the they, they they are better than most at spelling the name of their own state. Right. The Wall Street Journal has got a hold of uh, a book of parody songs that evidently was made and circled the Ohio State Ohio State marching band. Okay. In the book, a song called Goodbye Kramer, which is sung to the tune of Journeys Don't Stop Believin'. <laughs> Isn't where they referring to Michael Richards? Yeah. And I'm not sure how this goes. I think you're, you're good with melodies. Uh, maybe you could put this together. Uh, small town Jew who took the cattle train to you know where. What? So that, does, o- that, that doesn't and, even scan. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Small town girl who live, live, live in a lonely world, but in a lonely world, yeah, right? They, uh, took a midnight, so they're missing the second. They're missing the second line of that verse. I guess, yeah. Oh, the baking never ends; it goes on and on and on. Another line has <sighs> Nazis searching for people living in their neighbor's attic. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Um. The, the book warns other band members, says, hey, if you can't handle this, maybe you need to stop reading this. We might just be too real for you, man. But this is my favorite. Uh, there's no place as gay as Nebraska, except maybe Michigan U, where all the girls are hairy and the boys are fairies on your chest. We will poo. See that's just that's just well okay. A couple of years ago, that would have passed for innocent fun. The fairies thing, eh, it's kind of on the edge. I think that that's that's a, that that's a little suspect. I don't think anybody uses fairies anymore. Uh, I think I think that that is uh, uh, that that is not one of those things that gets more sensitive with time. <laughs> yeah, I, but but the whole ch- the, the whole chest pooing thing, and that's why I don't, I don't I don't I don't think the chest pooers are are uh, an out group yet. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, that's uh that's unfortunate. So is it is it just because Ohio State is so big that they've got all this shit? Like Yeah, what and if, they're on top. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna have I mean obviously this is this is terrible. You don't you don't you don't parody journeys, don't stop believing. This has to have been passed down for decades, right? Oh it's, yeah, I mean it's not the Jew thing. What? It's not about the Jews. It's you just you don't you don't mess with journey. <laughs> yeah you know they have that filipino guy sounds just like steve perry oh god furiously googling no steve harvey yeah sounds just like steve harvey he's saying naughty words on the on the family feud and looking into the camera saying oh no i'm a christian um have you seen that have you watched steve harvey's family feud i have yeah it's smut right well it's rigged <laughs> it's rigged to be as smutty as possible no, the, okay. Uh, the Family Feud game by design mm-hmm. means the black family doesn't win. What do you mean? Oh yeah, they had it rigged. Oh, just by the rules of the. Yeah, I mean, you, you never once saw like a uh, name something people smoke. 
Oh, oh, so this is like a, this is like a standardized tests are uh, um, aimed at a certain socio. <laughs> Go, Chris. Something people smoke. <laughs> yeah. Huh. What is Slender Man? Did we talk about that? Have we talked about Slender Man? Have we talked about? Sl- I, I don't know that we have directly. I, w- I w- just in w- in yeah on the side here. Where 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 are you hearing about Slender Man? Uh, girls get bad news in court. Oh, those two girls. So they murdered somebody to appease Slender Man. Right. Is that correct? Or at least that was their, that was their defense. So Chris. Yeah, I don't know. They're they're 13 years old. I mean. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're watching that shit on YouTube and and things. So Slender Man is grass on the field for I am, you know. uh, Anyway. Uh, yeah, they're, so they're being tried as adults, and that's super, super mm-hmm. weird. 13, yeah. eh, I don't know. That's a little bit on the edge. But, um, yeah, so Slender Man, it, he is um, a very tall, lanky, uh, and some depictions like multi-armed, tentacled uh, man who wears a suit and has no face. And the idea is that he prowls in the dark, um, usually in woods or in abandoned buildings, um, and is found in the background of photographs of children um, waiting to claim their innocent souls. <laughs> their innocence. Yeah, no, they're their innocent souls. No, yeah, yeah. And so, and so that started out on the something awful forums, actually in a thread that I was reading at the time, and it took off like crazy. Do you have because- an alibi? <laughs> <laughs> I can I can see what I was posting around that time. That is not. It's probably not under my uh, under my thing. But it became like an, an internet sensation. Like at first, you just started like, "Hey, here's a creepy thing that we will Photoshop into the back of some you know black and white photos." And you know, somebody like, "Oh wait, I don't see anything." This, oh wait, there's Slenderman. No, with his creepy blank face and his top hat. And wait, you didn't say anything about a top hat. Oh, the top hat is, is a big part of Slenderman. Hmm. And so. And so this became kind of a, a, like, like, like a runaway success. At first it was just Photoshops, and then it became stories, and then it became like video games, like these, the, you know, these, the, these horror video games, which are just you're wandering around in these dark areas, and then just, oh, what's that off in the distance? Oh, and he's right behind you, and he's killing you. You know, pretty, pretty spooky if you're playing headphones and the lights are off. Uh, like Slender Man, was, uh, a version of that was put into Minecraft, and that's where a lot of kids are hearing about it. Basically every... Every kid, okay, every one of my coworkers' kids who are between the age of eight and 15, their pop culture is the stuff that I was looking at and like, huh, that's weird, in 2010. <laughs> so it's really weird to see that this stuff, Minecraft and Slender Man, are still the things that <laughs> kids are like all about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. Nothing. <laughs> what? Hi, uh, kids. Stupid. Yeah, kids. They're d- dumb as shit. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's Slender Man. It's pretty weird that they said they killed their friend or whatever in the name of Slender Man because he's not really a thing. But no, we're. Is he American? I don't know. I don't know what the provenance was. It is. It is uh, something that is from the internet. It is. It is a purely internet creation. Part of us all, and that and that comes along. I know this isn't funny, but this is just Cole explaining internet things to Chris. And that comes alongside another phenomenon that popped up around the same time called creepy pasta, which is it was going to be the name of my horror of my Halloween themed uh, Italian restaurant, <laughs> but uh, but instead is the name of like these these short little spooky stories that are meant to be copied and pasted and uh and spread around uh which began on uh began on 4chan and kind of extended out to like scp which is this crazy database of like denied government experiments and bizarre phenomena sightings basically x-files fan fiction but with the mm-hmm. serial number filed off okay then okay mm-hmm. do you wish you hadn't asked yeah okay cool <laughs> that's how i know i'm done now what what is what is a werewolf bot mitz for like <laughs> spooky scary yeah you know boys becoming wolf or boys becoming men 
<laughs> right. Men becoming wolves. wolves. Men becoming yeah. wolves. Yeah. Did, they, did they ever release a full version of that? Because I think. I don't... I, I don't think so. I, I think that it's only it, it's only like the the five second the five second gag, which is a shame. They really should have uh, grabbed that wave runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, Steve hey, Cal- Steve Perry was the 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 lead singer for Journey during their mm-hmm. most uh, commercially successful periods, but now there's a Filipino guy who fills in for him. So sounds just Cal- like him. California police are looking for two or three males. Who let themselves in the emergency exit of a theater, hoisted what viewers in the movie thought was a chainsaw, revved it, screamed, and then left. You know. It was a leaf blower. (laughs) It's not like people are antsy about movie theaters nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. It's not something you, you would consider a minor prank. No. Is this kind of a boys will be boys kind of thing? I is that, is that so. how it's being treated? And you don't mess with the movies. No, no, Hollywood, Chris. The star, the, the, the stars come down to to walk among us. You know. Wish I'd have thought of it. <laughs> thought of Hollywood, just the concept of concept of shooting movies. No, the the prank. Why? I don't know. Make the news. I want to be on the news. Uh, there are lots of things you can do to be on the news. You can give a lot of money to charity. What? Yeah, uh, you can, you can, <laughs> you can do like that one lady did, and uh, and, and free bleed during uh, during a marathon. Hmm. Oh God. <laughs> what? A warrant is out for the arrest of an axe wielding clown. <laughs> oh, I've got that story. You do? Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's basic. It, it is what it says on the tin. Yeah, this huh. is, it's in Hickory, North Carolina. Woman's right. uh, <laughs> it's early morning. I imagine she's up watering her plants, uh, listening to Christian radio. She sees a man outside, uh, outside banging on her door. He opens up the, she opens up the door, wearing a the guy's wearing a clown mask, wearing a multicolored wig, uh, and swinging an axe at her, um, attempting to cut her, um, and uh, he ran away. Uh, when when uh, she got the mask partially off. Now, Chris, the twist on this is that the 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 clown, the alleged clown, was an acquaintance of hers. It's always somebody you know, right? No, oh, really, they they caught him. Um, uh, let or me see knows. here. S- since since filed an arrest warrant against him, mm. so yeah, they, they they she she knows the name, but the police have not released the name most women are attacked by clowns they know i know right it's incredibly (laughs) dangerous to know a clown you have to make sure you know the right clowns though if you know buffo you're good um let me see here now so just uh keep it classy huffington post which is the the ultimate link destination for this that i found anyway which is just uh again this fucking sidebar shit Instead of having any photo, instead of just like not having photographs or uh, leaving it, uh, you know, just leaving it be or having a photograph of the town where it's at. No, let's just have a gallery of key, of creepy clowns that some intern put together. Hmm. So yeah, that is a that that, that is a story that I saw. Good. I'm glad you saw that. Yeah. So I, I swooped it from you, Chris. Here's a here's a good one. Here's uh this is this is interesting. This is this is the cross section of of it's it's a sexual science, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and what scientists have found um, at the College of Worcester in Ohio is that men will ejaculate faster when responding to novel female stimulus. Like, like, what, what, like what, like a paperback? <laughs> yeah, you know, it is, uh, you, you just get one of those, uh, well, 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 uh, from, from the moistener aisle, you know, from the moisturizer aisle, <laughs> just pull one of those up. Hey, Chris, the brain is the largest erogenous zone. No. So what they did was, um, they, 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 they told, they told men abstain from all sexual activity, um, and alcohol use for 48 hours. And then they gave them a series of of seven videos um, to, to to watch one a day, 
um, and they were, uh, the, I, I think they were observed. It wasn't quite clear on this, uh, but they wanted to make sure they could um, see how long it took them to finish the act um, and then note the volume and quality of the material that was produced. So in these videos, the first six, so for six days, they are masturbating to the the, uh, the same woman, right? You know, so day one, Janine, day, day two, Janine, day three, Janine. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, on day seven, along comes Linda. Okay? Okay. And boy, oh, howdy. Oh, novelty bitches. Got it. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I so, didn't. I didn't realize you could say novel. Yes, you could. Uh, yes. So she had a she had a party hat on. She had some of those party poppers. Uh, uh, a hand buzzer. Uh, let's see here. So no. Uh, so 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 yes. It is it is the novelty factor. On day seven, the floodgates release. All right. Mm-hmm. And so the 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 time to completion diminished. The uh, the volume increased and the quality increased and so what this hints at is not that humankind has evolved away from monogamy or something like that but rather oh no that's exactly what it is this this article is confusing chris i i, I can't get a i can't get a consistent uh, line on it okay. but just the idea that you know your your side act right you want to make sure that that happens quick so you know if you are in your monogamous pair you can just kind of make that happen for a you know like just uh, that's slow and steady wins the race there. But if you're off there having ha- having a short tryst, you know you want it to be real quick. Get this done, and also give them the best quality stuff. Hmm. Okay, and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. this actually has an impact on on fertility science as well so you know a couple is having trouble conceiving. They both roll up, and you know the guy cranks it into a cup there are problems with male fertility that are actually hiding because of this, because all of a sudden, you know, the guy's remaining faithful or whatever. And then he's, you know, being watched by a doctor and looking at a strange lady in a magazine. And then all of a sudden he's given up the primo juice. He's, you know, he's saving a special bullet. He's, he's saving the special bullets for that vampire cup. And, and then that, 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 that vampire that th- cup. Yeah. The special bullets, the silver bullets, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, and that is uh, that, that that is problematic because uh, it can cloak problems. I can't make that much clearer, Chris. No, I got it. You're good. Yeah, I'm still thinking about Vampire Cup, though. Yeah, no, they uh, <laughs> you have to uh, you have to make Bloody Marys on them. You ever had a Bloody Mary? Yeah, horrible. That's oh, terrible. Awful. I had, I had a sip of one once, and it was just it was just the worst. Not a fan. Um, But yeah, I I think that the craziest thing about this is that apparently the body just keeps some in reserve. For the special moments? I guess, yeah. You keep keep one in the chamber, right? And so, I don't know, that's that's just weird for me, especially as, you know, I'm not going to give too much information here, not TMI, but I've I've got my favorites, I've got my standbys. That's that's a problem. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Oh, because you shouldn't have that. Huh. <laughs> what do you mean? Is that serial killer behavior, Chris? I've had a lot of... I've run up against a lot of walls recently where I'm inadvertently doing mm-hmm. serial killer behavior. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know what I had for dinner last night? Yeah. I had a bag of steamed vegetables and a bowl of popcorn. That's not bad. I know. Air pop? Uh, no, I did on a stovetop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't use I didn't use a whole bunch. I used I used half the oil that was recommended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? You're judging. Mm. You're judging me. You're sitting here looking at me with looking at me with your eyes, and you're judging me for my popcorn choices. <laughs> Are we done? I think so. This has been Those Damn Roskits. So, Chris, do you want me to tell them what they can do? I do. Yeah. 
Um, so we've made some changes to the Patreon here recently of most note would be that we added some new tiers, uh, for different things. Um, at, uh, $2 a month, you can get into the duck feed Slack channel or Slack team. And that is, uh, that is good times. It's only been open for a couple days or so, but get in there and talk with fans. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest change there. If you're doing any back to school shopping, you can go to uh, duckfeed.tv slash tip jar and uh, use the Amazon links there in order to, uh, you know, uh, buy something at the regular price and get us a kickback. And uh, of course, like us on Facebook and leave us a rating or review on iTunes. Chris, did I forget anything? You got it all. Cool. Sorry, America. Sorry. <laughs>